Before we get started with the demo, answer these questions for me. What is a balance measure? In what units? What is a bathroom scale measure? In what units? The reading talked about the difference between mass and weight. Your mass represents the amount of stuff you are made from, and your weight is the force of the earth pulling on your mass. The balance measures mass. It is called a balance because it has a fulcrum, and when you use it, you're saying that the object you're measuring is made out of the same amount of stuff as the pre-measured metal slugs on the other side. Interestingly, the balance needs gravity to work. If there was no gravity, the arm of the scale would stay wherever you put it. If the mass of the object and the slugs is the same, then the weight of the object and the weight of the slugs is the same, and the arm will balance. If I took this balance to the moon and placed the same object on it, I would find the mass to be exactly the same. On the moon, the weaker gravity would pull the object down less, but it would also pull the slugs down less. The arm would balance in the exact same place. A balance gives you an accurate mass measurement regardless of how weak or strong local gravity is. A bathroom scale works differently. It has a spring inside of it. As you squish the spring with an applied force, the dial moves. The harder you squish the spring, the bigger the reading is. Instead of using a standard bathroom scale, I'm going to use a vernier bathroom scale in this video. This scale can be plugged into my computer and display its measurements in Logger Pro. Let's take some measurements with the bathroom scale in some different scenarios. For the first scenario, I will simply stand on the scale. What does my free body diagram look like in this situation? It's very simple. I'm only experiencing two forces. The earth is pulling me down and the scale is pushing me up. I'm not changing speed or direction, so the forces must cancel out. Right. As I stand here, the scale says about 800 newtons. How do we interpret that number? Is it my weight? Well, it's equal to my weight. More about that in a minute. Let's take another measurement. This time, I'm going to lean on my desk. Now the scale only says 600 newtons. Why is that? Do I actually weigh less? Is the earth pulling on me less because I'm leaning on the table? No, of course not. How can we explain this? We better draw a free body diagram. The earth is still pulling me down. The scale is still holding me up, but it's not holding all of me up. The desk is holding some of me up too. Why? Because of the third law. If teacher pushes desk down, then desk pushes teacher up. I'm not changing speed or direction, but the scale reads a value that is less than my weight because the table is helping to hold me up. Okay. Let's do one more scenario. Suppose that instead of leaning on the desk, I try to pick up the desk. Now the scale says 1100 newtons. Why is it so high? My free body diagram changed. Let's redraw it. The earth is still pulling me down. How do I account for the interaction with the table? If teacher pushes up on table, that means table pushes down on teacher. I'll add that to the diagram. The only other thing I'm interacting with is the scale. The force from the scale must be balancing both of the downward forces. This explains why the reported value was so much higher. Okay, at the beginning of this activity, I asked you what balances and scales measure. Most of you knew that balances measure mass. That's great. Most of you also said that scales measure weight. That's not so great. In our three scenarios that we just demonstrated, the scale gave a different answer each time. Hopefully you all understand that my weight could not possibly have been what was changing. Take a careful look at these free body diagrams and the values that the scale reported. Is it clear to you that the scale is actually reporting how hard it's supporting me? It's reporting normal force. Bathroom scales always report normal force. The number on the scale is telling you how hard the scale is pushing up on you. If we stand still on the scale, the reading on the scale is still just normal force, but it's equal to our weight, which we can say based on the free body diagram. So let's ask these questions one more time. What is a balance measure? In what units? It measures mass in grams. What does a scale measure? In what units? It measures normal force in newtons.